good, y'all? This is Dez back with another video, you know what I'm saying? Sure as you will by the title of this video. Pretty much, I'm going to be stating my thoughts and opinions on the whole issue with Ray Allen and his Celtics teammates, you know what I'm saying? That little beef or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm going to be stating my personal opinions on that. Like, so, so if you're interested, definitely keep watching. All right, now. Okay, like I say, this, yeah, this situation happened back in 2000, 2012 or 2013, you know what I'm saying? But at first, I ain't able to pay too much attention to it, but then over time, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel like over time, I'm just like, bro, okay, y'all need to, whatever y'all got, okay, y'all need to let that go. Because, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The man made a decision based, uh, he basically, he made a decision best for him and his basketball career, you know what I'm saying? Because, okay, how it started was, okay, basically, you know what I'm saying, Ray Allen, he, in the summer, you know what I'm saying, he basically left and went to Miami or whatever, because basically what happened was, yeah, Boston was, you know what I'm saying, they didn't want to really pay him what he wanted to be paid. Yeah, I understand, yeah, like, Boston was willing to pay him, like, they was, they offered him more money and everything, but at the same time, it's just like, he said he didn't like, you know what I'm saying, how it was presented to him, it's just like, like, basically, you know what I'm saying, they signed everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Then, of course, then my thing was, okay, then y'all went out and signed Jason Terry. So, it's kind of like, well, damn, like, if y'all do sign Ray Allen, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be deep, but at the same time, it's like, okay, how the hell all of them is gonna play, like, significant minutes, you know what I'm saying? Somebody's gonna have to sacrifice, so, I'm guessing Ray Allen felt like, you know what I'm saying, his, his, basically, his role within the team was starting to diminish, you know what I'm saying, which, yeah, I mean... That's clearly like, yeah, that's what they feeling like. That was, that was, that was what was about to happen, you know what I'm saying? So once that happened, or whatever, they say the way it was presented, like he said, yeah, he never wanted to leave Boston. It's like, nah. He was like, you know what I'm saying? Basically, he didn't find the home in there, man, you know what I'm saying? So why leave it? But at the same time, he was like all about their approach, basically, you know what I'm saying? Then on top of that, yeah, you're dealing with the Snake Ange. Danny Snake Ange, you feel me? So, of course, like. So basically what it was, you know what I'm saying? They presented him. How they, how they said how they presented it to him basically was okay. He he was like he was like they presented him with the contract. Okay, well this is all we have to offer you to take it or leave it. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of like the treatment like basically after all he done for the team. You know what I'm saying? And the franchise is like, well, like okay, y'all can present it to me way better than what y'all doing. You feel me? But so he say so basically he said going into that summer like you know what I'm saying. He had okay, of course Boston was on the table, but then he had the Clippers, Minnesota, Milwaukee, and then Miami, you know what I'm saying? But but he said with the Clippers, like he said originally he wanted to go to the Clippers, but once they signed Jamal Crawford, I was like, Yeah, that's a yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, it's like I say, he would have went to the if he would have went to the Clippers too, like that's it, that would have been stacked, but at the same time, like, if you wanna like significant playing time, it's like okay, yeah, that's not the best fit. So like I said, what was left was Miami. Minnesota and Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? Basically, okay, with Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, if he was toward, like, the end of his career, so, it was, I mean, that's what was likely. Like, he just doing, like, a farewell, you know what I'm saying? But then with Minnesota, uh, I don't see I don't see the reason why he wanted to go to Minnesota unless they were just throwing a bag at him, you know what I'm saying? But I can't, like, at that time, but I cannot see why he was trying to go to Minnesota, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> But then, uh, yeah, that's what he said, you know, so of course, Miami was on the table. I think they offered him, like, three years, nine million, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, so Boston offered him two years, 12 million, you know what I'm saying? Which, like I say, to be fair, uh, Boston did offer you more money, and he, he was trying to say in interviews, like, yeah, he was looking, like, for us financial-wise. I mean, yeah, that plays a part in it, but it's just like, okay, if you're saying financial-wise, okay, yeah, Boston offer you more money, you know. But at the same time, you like, he explained the situation. He was like, yeah, it was all about how they presented it to him. And then, like I said, they going out signing, you know what I'm saying, signing Jason Terry. It's just like, well, damn, I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, how the hell all of us is going to fit on the, I ain't going to say fit on the court together, but it's just like, how, the, like, how all of us, like, going to play, like, significant minutes without one of us sacrificing? Because, like, he even said, like, he say all the time, like, saying, you know what I'm saying, towards his last years in Boston, like, he felt like his role was, it started to diminish like tremendously, you know what I'm saying? So, so he said, once that happened, and then of course, you know what I'm saying? Miami, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, to be fair, it's like, bro, okay, he even said, like, okay, he looking for, you know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely, he want to win another championship, so it's like, okay, he was either Boston or Miami, of course, you know what I'm saying? See how Boston was doing them, so it's like, bro, like, then Miami was just sitting there, like I said, that, man, that, that just looked too good, you know what I'm saying, to pass up, you know what I'm saying? So, 
So basically, he made this choice. Basically, how he felt like how Boston was treating him. He's like, you know what? Like, I ain't valued here. So, of course, he went to Miami, which me personally, like I said, I didn't see what the issue was. It's like, he went to Miami. They were saying they was the rivals or whatever. He was like, because I mean, at first, I was like, I wouldn't say they was rivals, you know what I'm saying? Boston rivals were the Lakers and, well, I would say the Knicks, but it's like, nah, I mean, they had Carmelo and Amari, but for like them being rivals, like, nah, I feel like y'all rivals were. You know what I'm saying? The Lakers pretty much. It was with that. It's just like, bro, okay. He went to Miami, okay. Then I was all hearing about, yeah, he was, it was like how he did it. Like, he ain't communicate with nobody and all that. It's like, uh -huh. Me personally, like I said, it don't sound like Ray Allen. Like, I don't know him personally, but just like, looking at, you know what I'm saying, him as a person, like how he cares. It was like, I don't really see him just like being a, Trying to make it like, oh, he did like a little snake thing and just, you know what I'm saying, left and ain't telling about it. It's like, nah. Cause like I said, he, cause he even said like on um, first take, he said, like, he, he said, but the whole time, he said, he was talking to Paul Pierce here and there, but he said he was more so talking to KG, you know what I'm saying, basically telling him like, okay, giving him the updates of what was going on. But he said, around the time that he signed with Miami, he said, he, he said, he, you know what I'm saying, he admitted like he didn't really like, Okay, let them know, like, the reason why he signed with Miami. They just probably just looked up and say, you know what I'm saying, oh, he signed with Miami and all that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like, well, okay. <laughs> I feel like they put the blame on it. It's like, oh, he just backstabbed him, man, you know what I'm saying, went to Miami and all that BS. I'm like, bro, like, that's, that is full of it. Like, I can't, like, so I don't see that in Ray Allen. Like, he ain't finna just backstab y'all or just go to Miami. It's just like, although, yeah, Miami had just won a championship. But at the same time, it's like, bro, ain't no guarantee that you're going to repeat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about it. It's injuries and then, of course, chemistry. You know what I'm saying? They did have the same team, but still, it's just like, once you got new faces in, like, you really got to work them into it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It, it really was no guarantee that they was going to win the championship that year, which they did. You know what I'm saying? But, but even like the, the first, I think it was the first game of the season, whatever. They played Miami and Miami. I was like, God damn. But, of course, you know what I'm saying? You seen Ray Allen going over and, you know what I'm saying, saying what's up to everybody, you know what I'm saying? That's a respect thing. That's my thing, okay. This is another thing I saw too, it's like, okay, but if he's going over to like, just shake your hands and all that before the game or whatever, like, bro. Okay, apparently there's no ill will on his part, like, on, you know what I'm saying, why he left Boston or uh, he he did like a snake thing and just left Boston. It's like, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? If he, if he really, if it was something against like y'all or whatever, like, bro, he would uh, he would not like, Went over, you know what I'm saying? Say what's up to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And then I remember I seen it like in person, like like on TV, you know what I'm saying? I seen it like when he uh he was saying what's up to everybody then. He tapped KG on the shoulder or whatever. <laughs> I said, that dude KG you paid it, bro. <laughs> Cause basically he tapped KG on the shoulder, you know, so of course KG he looked he looked Ray Ray or whatever, but you know so he looked like he looked basically he looked past Ray instead of just, you know what I'm saying, acknowledging him, you know what I'm saying? But I mean I don't know, it's just like, that's it, that whole situation, I'm like, boy, the way y'all making it seem like, oh, he just, like, he just snaked y'all and just left or whatever, and then it causes, like, so what? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he, he saved, he saved, uh, Miami season, that's for sure, especially in the final, boy, he hit that shot, you know what I mean? To be fair, I was going for, I was going for San Antonio, you know what I'm saying, because they had, you know, they had Tim Duncan and Kawhi Leonard and all that, but they had Tracy McGrady on that, you know, so I was trying to. I would want him to get a ring, you know what I'm saying, before he hang it up, you feel me? But so basically, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, we had to hit that shot. Which I was like, I was like, even when the when the ball left his hand, but I was like, I said, man, it's going in, it's going in. But in my mind, like I'm saying it's going in, but in my mind, I'm like, yeah, he probably gonna it's probably gonna bounce out in there, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, once like I say, once he shot it, that thing was nothing but there. I'm like, God damn it, man. I'm about to punch the TV. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shatter it, but you know what I'm saying? I, I punched the people. I was like, God damn it, bro. Because <laughs> all I do is like, once that thing, uh, once I seen that thing go through, then I'm like, oh. So, like I said, yeah, so he, yeah, he, he definitely, you know what I'm saying, saved Miami season and he saved LeBron's career because, boy, if he would have lost that, woo. Boy, they finna crucify the hell out of him. You know what I'm saying? We already made the shot at then, of course, Miami, I think it was, I think it was the next game, you know what I'm saying? It was game seven, yeah, they won the championship, so. Of course, I mean, hey, and he went to a team, like I said, he said straight up, he said, one of his components, he said he wanted to win another championship, so that plays a factor into, okay, his decision making or whatever, so it's like, okay, yeah, I mean, he just, also, that's another thing I, I, I think, too, is like, I think they feel assaulted because 
you know what I'm saying? He he went and won another championship. Not not because he went to the rivals and you know what I'm saying won the championship. It's just the fact that he 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 won another championship, you know what I'm saying, while they still have their one from 08. You know what I'm saying? Which I mean I wouldn't feel salty. It's like I mean yeah. Because you know what I'm saying, if you think about it, it's like yeah, you see how they were doing him, but then you know what I'm saying, you see what Snake Ains did to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he traded he traded y'all for uh, the you know what I'm saying, the book and the next picks or whatever, which it turned out to be a, a great trade for Boston. At the same time, it's just like, well, look how Boston did, y'all. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember LeBron came out and said they should, they should, they should, uh, basically KG and Paul Pierce oh, ran under an apology or whatever. It's just like, I mean, no, not really. I mean, hell. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that was okay. LeBron, you didn't really need to say that because I don't, I don't feel that way. They need an old apology. I mean, just. It is what it is, you feel me? So I remember, uh, I think it was the Area 21 interview or whatever. That's when they had the Boston Celtics uh, reunion. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Ray Allen wasn't there, which I paid attention to it, but at the same time, it's like, okay, that wasn't an issue for me. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? I figured, well, you know what, what was going on? Yeah, like, he's not going to be there, you know what I'm saying? So then that's when they got on the segment about talking about Ray or whatever, and then that's my thing, okay. Like, Ray Allen said on the interview with uh, First Tape, bro. I understand Vondo, KG, and Paul Pierce having something to say about it. Yeah, true. But why the hell is Kendrick Perkins and Glenn Davis having something to say about it? It's like, boy, first of all, Kendrick Perkins, you was the first domino to get traded. So I feel like, yeah, you shouldn't have no issue. I mean, he said on the he's like, it wasn't what Ray did, how he did it. It's like, but how would you know? You weren't even there. Like, you was in OKC. And yes, you can see how Snake Ains did you. I mean, come on now. Like, you shouldn't have anything to say about that situation. And then, even with Big Baby, like, he ain't able to say too much on it, you know what I'm saying? He said, like, a little thing, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? He even admitted, he was like, man, at the same time, I wasn't even there. Like, I was in Orlando, so you know what I'm saying? But he did, like, so I think he just stated his opinions on it, but he said, other than that, he said, yeah, he ain't had no issue with it, or whatever. I was just like, Kendrick Fuggers, come on now. For you to be sitting there saying, yeah, oh, he ain't what Ray did, it's how he did it, it's like, but you wasn't even there. You was in OKC, so why would you feel any way about that? You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, y'all won the championship together, but at the same time, if you personally wasn't there, okay, you shouldn't have no opinion on it at all. Like, you shouldn't say anything at all about it, you feel me? So even Paul was like, you know what I'm saying? He, he was saying, like, yeah, he didn't really communicate and all that, which, you know what I'm saying? And later on, he said, yeah. He, you know, so I don't even say it. Both of them really say it, like, yeah, we, you know, say we passed it up or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they cool to this day or whatever. So, <laughs> that's the only people who really holding grudges is Rondo and um, KG, you know what I'm saying? Which I've been hearing about <laughs> Ray Allen and Rondo. Yeah, I heard about the, they say they had like a little boxing match or whatever in the locker room. Say Rondo tore his ass up. I, I don't know. I, I can see that, you know what I'm saying? But hey, you never know. But then, even with KG, it's just like, like Ray Allen say, he's like, bro, like, you, you, it's kind of like you you forgetting like what we came from. It's like, but like we've been knowing each other since he said, like he said, since high school. Like, but like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I don't know. It's just to the point. I just feel like, uh, let's say other than Rondo, because they had their personal issues or whatever. But with KG and Ray Allen, but I feel like, but yeah, okay, it ain't really Ray Allen. Like it's just KG, but just let that go, but if y'all all retired now. You know what I'm saying. And as Ray Allen been explaining, it's like yeah, how Boston was treating them. You know what I'm saying during the contract process or whatever it's like but then turn around look what they did y'all you and paul like i say they traded y'all to brooklyn you know what I'm saying? instead of just you know what i'm saying but, but i just feel like yeah kg just just let it go bro like i say just pass it everywhere you know what i'm saying at the end of the day y'all can speak on you know what I'm saying y'all uh, you know some disagreements or whatever and other that like i say just patch it up man it's just like but it's no reason why you know what i'm saying you should just you should you should still be holding a grudge over that like something that happened like when y'all with players, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, right now, y'all been retired. So it's like, bro, like, just let it go, man. Just let it go. Now, as far as Rondo and Ray Allen, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how far that's going. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out, you know what I'm saying? But, man, I think it's just the whole situation, but it's just like, okay, yeah. It happened, you know what I'm saying? And some stuff, you know what I'm saying, was said and all that, you know what I'm saying? Basically, okay, you know what I'm saying? He put them up, Ray Allen put them up, passed it up with everybody but KG and Rondo, you know what I'm saying? Now, the Rondo situation, I'm like, I don't think that's ever going to get patched. But with KG, I just feel like, yeah, y'all need to do like a, you know what I'm saying, a sit-down one-on-one like, like Kobe and Shaq did and um, Isaiah and um, Magic did, you know what I'm saying? Basically, just have a little sit-down and then y'all explain y'all reasons or whatever without getting by, you know what I'm saying? 
Now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just patch it up. You feel me? Like, like I say, to me, it ain't. I mean, it, to me, it ain't that big of a deal, like I say, to be holding a grudge over it, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, KG is who he is, you feel me, hey. And, you know, I, you know what I'm saying, I, hey, I, you know what I'm saying, I, I rock with KG, you know what I'm saying, I rock with Allen too, so it's just like, yeah. I'm just trying to be neutral with the situation, you feel me, but, but yeah, like I say, yeah, I mean, overall, like I said, that's just, that's my whole thoughts and depends on that situation, you know what I'm saying. Like, so hopefully, like I say, KG and Ray Allen, they could just sit down and do a one-on-one, just air out the differences or whatever without getting violent. You know what I'm saying? Then, hey, just move on from that, you feel me? So, but like I said, yeah, those was my thoughts and opinions. So, like I said, hey, like, comment, subscribe. Also, share my videos. Whatever you want to do, whatever you can do. I'm down with it regardless, you feel me? So, until my next video, y'all already know what it is. I'll see y'all in a minute.